Securing C. Okay guys, how are we doing? Um, in the background we've got some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Now, if you cast your minds back to about six weeks or so ago, I showed a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay I had and I was kind of criticising Modern Warfare 3, having a little bit of a rant and moan. And one of the things I said was, I have to take certain steps in order to maintain and pull off a good decent Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. It's unfortunate that I can't just pull, you know, plug it in, play and crack on. I have to take a certain few steps that it's just goes to show how bad the net coding of lag compensation is in Modern Warfare 3 and people will criticise it and say, no, no, it's not that bad. And I would just say, shut the fuck up. I've been at both ends of it. I've been on the good connection end and the bad connection end. And I can categorically say that having a bad connection in Modern Warfare 3 is the best thing you can have. So if you have a bad connection and you do bad, you probably need to rethink your strategies a little bit. So what I will do is, in the background you can see a gameplay, this is me with um, the decent setup, the setup that should work effectively. And I'll explain it to you a little bit. My Xbox 360 is wired into my router via Ethernet cable. My cable is precisely a metre and a half long, no longer. Um, I have my relevant ports forwarded for all of my Call of Duty games, so that's all good. I have an open NAT, and I also have no interference around me. You know, there's nothing else interfering with it. I've got all my uh, phones turned off, my computer's unplugged. The only thing that is running from my router is my Xbox 360. <laughs> that's it. There's nothing getting in the way of it. The wireless signal wouldn't get infected because it's actually uh, wired via Ethernet. So, that's all good. The other thing is in the Modern Warfare 3 game is that my theatre mode is in fact turned off. Now this was one of the big hoo-hahs about people saying, oh you need your theatre mode off, it adds lag. I don't really know about that, but if that's the case, you fucking want it on. Now what you've got to remember is this commentary is for people who have good internet, because the reaction I got when I mentioned that in the video was from a lot of people saying, please, I want to play Modern Warfare 3, I need to understand how I play this game, you've got to tell me what you do. And I said, what is your connection? Not to all of them, but I asked a few of them, what is your connection speed? And everybody's speeds kind of came in at the same, they're all kind of high. So my speeds are 75 down, 18 up and 14 ping, that is when it's pretty much at its best. Now those are good speeds, you know decent speeds that should be running in and I should have an optimum gaming session. But as you can see in the background I can't pull my shots off, people appear out of nowhere, the gameplay seems very fast, I'm struggling to follow what's going on. It almost seems like there's so much going on and you don't have time to breathe or stop or think. There is a guy in this game as well, and his name is Hmong Boss or something, and he's doing some quick scoping now. This guy's internet connection constantly drops down to a three bar. Once or twice it dropped to a two bar, I think. His internet connection is terrible. However, this guy is is almost impossible to focus and lock in on because his movements are so fast. And you'll see at one stage there's me and there's him and he just appears out of nowhere. I start shooting my ACR and I chose the ACR deliberately because it's a steady balance. <laughs> I say balance gun, a steady gun with good balance. That's what I mean. It doesn't move off too much. And this guy just evades everything and he kills everybody with one shot. He jumps, he ducks, he drops, he spins, he does everything. Um, so that goes to show that your internet connection, the worse it is, the better you do. So that's kind of the example I'm going to use. So the next gameplay I'm going to show now is me actually with the system that I use. And well, I'll tell you exactly what it is. I have now unplugged my ethernet cable and I'm going wireless. I've turned my iPhone off and I'm downloading something from the internet. My computer is now uploading a 5 gigabyte file to YouTube. Now I don't know if this is easy for me because I have a capture card, but if anybody goes into their computer who doesn't have a capture card and can find the biggest file that you have, upload it to YouTube and then put your Modern Warfare 3 on and see the difference. But I'm uploading a 5 gigabyte file to YouTube. All my ports are still relevantly forwarded, so that's okay, but like I say, I'm just going wireless now. Um, my router has tin foil or I don't know what you guys in America call it, it's like that metal foil that you cook chickens in and thing. I've wrapped mine up in tin foil, so it's kind of deflecting off, I would think, I don't know, but it's kind of deflecting off any signals or something like that. The other thing I've done is I've gone into Modern Warfare 3 and I've now turned my theatre mode on. Yes, on. So now, effectively, I should have the worst gaming experience because of the way my whole setup is. I'm wireless, I've got my theatre mode on. Basically my upload, because all gaming is down to your upload, so the better your upload, effectively you're supposedly supposed to have a better gaming experience and your ping. Your download can go and swing anyway, it doesn't mean anything. So I should really be having a nightmare. In fact, as you can see from the gameplay in the background, 
This is ice cream to me. You know, these people are just walking into my bullets and it's perfect. Now, what's actually happening is I'm not getting any kind of a better experience than anybody else because if you look when I have a little flick over to the uh, to the ping bars on the menu, you know, on the kind of lobby menu, um, you will see that I'm constantly on a four bar anyway. So my internet connection is still really good. However, it is now... It's almost like if you're watering a garden, you know, and you've put a bit of a kink in the hose and it's starting to struggle to get the water out. With the game, it's exactly the same. I'm effectively putting a kink in the hose and that is making the internet struggle. So it makes me have a better experience. So now I'm on the good end of lag compensation because the computer or the server has a look and says, oh, he's having a bad time. <gasps> oh, can't have that. Can't have that. Here, you, you, you're doing okay. You've got nice internet. Give him some of your shit. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible that you have to take these steps, but this is the only way that I can play Modern Warfare 3. If I don't do any of this with all my speeds perfect and my ports forwarded and everything exactly as it should be, it doesn't happen. I am playing against a whole lobby of Mark of Jays on a good day. So that's what you have to do. And remember, this is only really if you have very good internet. If you have very good internet, try these steps. It might not work for you, but it worked for me. It definitely worked for me. And I did two years of trying and testing different theories. And this is one the one that came out for me the best. So I hope this helps you out, guys. If it does, please let me know. If it doesn't, then just try. Fiddle around with things. Try different things. Something will eventually work. Apocalypse done.